many small businesses overlook using negative keywords. And that's a huge gap in their search marketing strategy. And you can literally waste thousands of dollars of ad spend if you don't use negative keywords properly. And if you use them improperly, you can also miss out on a lot of relevant traffic and leave money on the table. So it's really important that you understand how negative keywords work and why to use them and that, that you do use them because they're like I said, they're, they're hugely important. So let me go ahead and show you where to add them and how to add them. So there are, there are two ways to add negative keywords, actually uh, three ways. You can add negative keywords to a specific ad group. You can add them to a campaign, and then you can create a shared library of negative keywords and add them to multiple campaigns simultaneously. Now, the only reason to add them to ad groups is if you're trying to sculpt your, your traffic, which can be a really good strategy. And this is what it looks like. So say, for example, you have an exact match keyword that you use in its own ad group. So, so say, buy umbrellas. And then you have a broader ad group with the keyword buy umbrellas as broad match modified so that lots of different variations of that keyword can match to that keyword. So you could add the exact match version of buy umbrellas as a negative keyword to the broader ad group so that when anyone searches for buy umbrellas, they'll see the ad in the exact match ad group, not in the broader ad group. That's, a, that's actually a really great strategy to use, and that's one way to use negative keywords effectively. The idea is that you can show the most relevant ad copy to people, and also that you can manage your bids based upon the, um, the actual keywords that people are, uh, are, are triggering with their search terms. So you can see up here at the top, there are a couple different options. You've got keywords, which is the default view, and then negative keywords, which we're talking about, and then search terms. Now let's go to search terms for a second because you're going to mine your search term report to grab negative keywords to add. It's a, it's a continuing process. Adding negative keywords is one of the best ways to keep on top of your campaigns and manage your campaigns. So at least weekly, I recommend that you come to your account, that you open up this search terms report, and it will list the actual search terms that are triggering your ads. It'll sort them by popularity. I mean, you, or you can sort them by number of clicks, by number of impressions. You can see their CTR, their average cost per click, etc. And then you can take uh, information from there to add new negative keywords to save yourself money moving forward. So let's go to the negative keyword level. So we could add them to a specific ad group. So for example, we could go to uh, buy umbrellas and uh, let's go to the buy umbrellas ad group. And let's say that we wanted to add the exact match version of buy umbrella. Well, we could go ahead and do that. Put buy umbrella in there, save, and there we go. It's a negative keyword. Now let's talk about negative keyword match types. They are similar to the positive keyword match types, but with some differences. So let's click on here. So first of all, we have exact match. This will only exclude a negative key or a, a search term that exactly matches this negative keyword. So if someone types in buy umbrella and only those two words in that order, they cannot see an ad from this ad group. But if they type something um, any longer than that, like buy umbrella online, if they typed umbrella buy, so a different word order, or if they typed buy umbrellas, so that's plural, umbrella is plural, they would still be able to see the ad. So with negative keywords, um, singular and plural do matter. And whenever you add a negative keyword, think through if you should add the plural version of that and also any misspellings because Google does not broad match misspellings. Basically, however you spell your negative keyword, um, that will only keep that exact same spelling for the search term side from triggering your ad. So think about adding common misspellings of any negative keywords that you add. Phrase match works exactly the same as with positive keywords. Um, it will prevent words in that order from triggering your keyword. So something like buy umbrella online would not be able to trigger your ad, but how to umbrella buy online would trigger the ad because the words are in a different order than in your phrase match keyword. Then for broad match keywords, uh, let's just go down and say to one, one word here. If we had this, uh, any search term that had the word umbrella would not be able to trigger your ad doesn't matter where um, where that word appears, whether or not there are other words in the in the search term. 
it could not trigger your ad. And if we said buy umbrella, then if those two words exist in any order in the search term, uh, that search term cannot trigger this uh, any keywords in this ad group. One match type that does not exist for negative keywords, which does exist for positive keywords, is broad match modifier. Now, uh, the, so the broad match, what I just explained as the broad match for negative keywords is basically the same way that broad match modifies works, but uh, there are no plus signs or any special symbols of that nature for broad match. So that's the, that is at the ad group level. We could also add them at the campaign level. So this would apply to any of the ad groups in the campaign. If we added this, and we would not want to add umbrella as a negative keyword for a campaign, let's go ahead and add free. That would be a good negative keyword to add to a campaign that's trying to sell something. Let's go ahead and get rid of that ad group level negative keyword. Okay. So you can see here at the campaign level, if anyone triggers any ads or tries to trigger any ads in this campaign and they have the word free in their search term, they cannot trigger that ad. Now, something I use a lot, and a lot of small businesses aren't aware of this option, is keyword lists. I clicked over on shared library over here. Let me go back and show that to you again. Uh, this is the main interface here. I'll go over here on the left, click shared library. There are some advanced options over here. One of them is campaign negative keywords. I'll click view there, and then we can create a list. And you can name it whatever you want. For example, negative keywords is fine. And then you can add a whole list of keywords right here. So for example, free, um, expensive, uh, review, whatever you want to add there. You can add those. And then you can hit that check mark there, apply that to campaigns. Don't forget to apply it to campaigns. You can apply it to one campaign or to multiple campaigns or all the campaigns, whatever you want. And then boom. All of your negative keywords live in this list, but they're applied at the campaign, <coughs> excuse me, at the campaign level to all the campaigns to which you just applied them. And this is a great time-saving tool. When you have a bunch of campaigns and you want to either add new negative keywords or find out if you're using a specific negative keyword, then it can get really time-consuming to go through each campaign and add or remove. But you can just hop over here to the shared library, to the negative keyword list, and uh, do it once for all campaigns. And it's a, it's a great time saver. I definitely recommend making use of that. And there are some negative keywords that uh, are pretty much relevant to all websites or most websites that are trying to sell things or that just don't want particular kinds of traffic. I've got kind of a go-to list of keywords that I use for most of our clients and I will actually go ahead and uh, give you that list in the course resources so you, that you can get a great head start on some, some good negative keywords that you can use in your own account. So uh, once again, a summary, use negative keywords, use them wisely, at least weekly, look at your search terms report, look at the search terms that are actually triggering your keywords, the exact words that people are actually typing into the search engine, and then pull either complete phrases from there or just specific words that you know are not relevant to you. And if people searching for that, uh, people who do search for that and see your ads as not relevant people to your product or service, then go ahead and add those as negative keywords. And you can save yourself literally thousands of dollars by doing that.